Hello and good evening. Welcome to An Order for Compline. We are going to be using the Book of Common Prayer and beginning on page 127. So please take a deep breath, relax, and settle into our final worship for this evening. Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today we will read Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore I will deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him honor. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. I have a reflection to read from the Society of St. John the Evangelist. They send out a newsletter and think you would enjoy this. This is called Listening Distance. I am listening more deeply, more intently, and with a greater sense of urgency than I have ever listened. I am listening to the lonely cry out for human touch and the holy cry out for sacraments shared. I am listening to words of joy and lament from the masked mouths of strangers and friends alike. 
I am listening to Black, Latinx, Asian, and Native American people cry out afresh an old, old song of unspeakable trauma, yet refulgent with hope. I am listening to slow motion sounds of collapse as political maneuvers falter and fail. I am listening to ice melting beneath the paws of the polar bear. I am listening to the inhalation and exhalation of breath rhythmically reminding me that every moment is precious and none is a given. I am listening to the heart of God beneath it all. Are you listening? I hear you even as I type this and I know that you are. Somehow I hear us gathered in our listening. It is the sound of a single heart learn learning relearning to listen to the word and to the world. In such listening, St. Paul's heard creation groaning, quote, in eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. In such listening, Elijah heard that still small voice, which was not to be heard in wind, earthquake, or fire. In such listening, Jesus heard the God he knew as Abba say, This is my beloved in whom I am well pleased. And he heard another call to the darkness of Calvary. If you're hearing what I'm hearing, maybe we're listening to the church becoming more. In this place, within listening distance of the silence we call God, a quote from R.S. Thomas, and within shouting distance of one another, we are finding something precious deep church. These are shouts of why and how long, but also thank you and I'm here for you and amen. We've long stewarded this deep church in packets of seeds, but often planted them in seasonal gardens, a retreat here, a small group there, an afternoon of Sabbath rest, in this new place, we're learning a different way. In between the unmaking of one world and the gestation of another, stricken in conscious, overflowing with questions and wrestling with demons, we are learning that spiritual practice, presence, and purpose are the seeds we need to survive. Blessedly, history shows us that these are cause that these are the causes and conditions that make saints, Christians of depth. Moved by these pressures, moved by those pressures, we're doing our inner work because it is the work to be done. We're learning to pray one distracted word at a time, to meditate one distracted breath at a time, to measure our hours and days. We're speaking the truth of what truly matters to us and listening to others to do the, do the same because none of us have all the time in the world, and we know it. The powerful among us are learning to listen to the disempowered without defensiveness or pride. We're discovering how to abide like a planted seed in the darkness of impasse because our faith, our impossible convictions of not things not seen, tell us that seeds were made to grow. We can't go over or under or around the, plain, the pain, and so together we are going through it, into the depths. Jesus said, pay attention to how you listen. Let's keep listening to him and to one another. That was written by Brother Keith Nelson from the Society of St. John the Evangelist, who very graciously gave their permission for me to read this to you. We will continue on page 132 with the versicles and responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. 
Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessings be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll continue with the Song of Simeon and the Antiphons. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you've prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a peaceful, restful night, and as always, keep calm and remain faithful. Thank you.